everyone, it's your girl, Emily Curl with iHeartRadio, and I'm so excited because today we're joined by our Love Island favorites. We have our host, Ariel, and our narrator, Matthew. Hi, you two. Thank you so much for being here. Thank, Thank you for having you. us. You guys are already in sync. Whoa. Thanks. Girl. <laughs> Girl, don't take my That's line. my line. <laughs> Season two has officially kicked off. How are we feeling? I'm feeling so good. It's yeah. awesome. I'm actually in Vegas right now. Um, we're shooting at the Cromwell uh, up at the Dre's nightclub where we turned that into our villa. It looks so amazing. I'm feeling so good. Um, but yeah, I'm happy to be here. And then Matthew, you're coming to us from a VO booth, right? That's what you said? This is, this is the padded windowless booth where it all all happens. Uh, yeah, literally. Where the magic goes down. All, well, we hope the magic goes <laughs> down, but it's, uh, this is where I am. Uh, for the, until pumpkin spice lattes come out at Starbucks, this is where I will be for a very long time. <laughs> <laughs> so now you mentioned so we're in Vegas this season and the set does look so good. How long did it take to transform that space into what looks like the, the original Love Island set? I have no idea. I honestly <laughs> got here and I was like, oh, this is not what it looked like. And I guess they've been here for, you know, months. I have no idea how long this has taken them, but it's like, you would never know that it's the Dre's nightclub. You would just think it's a sick house. Like I want to live there. Oh, same. <laughs> I, I remember, Ariel, I texted you a photo when I yeah. saw it for the first time on TV and it literally like blew my mind. I was yeah. like, this is unbelievable because they don't trust me with anything before the show airs. So it's like, I knew nothing. <laughs> They'll uh, tell you but after. When I saw it for the first time, I was like, oh, I, there, we pause it literally daily. We pause the show because every shot, you're just like, how does a parking lot high above the ground look this good? Like, what is going on? Yeah. Um, it just, they nailed it. I, and I want to move it. Is it going to stay, joke. is it going to stay this way? Is it going to be available to rent after the show's done filming? How is that going to work? Probably, Ariel and I will happily rent it to you. You have our Venmos. <laughs> a we small price, I'm sure. Yeah. Upfront payment. Okay, okay, we'll work on that. iHeart, our producers are on the line, so we'll see what we can do there. Thank you. <laughs> so now we are iHeart, so I first have to talk about the music and this Love Island Fire soundtrack. And I'm curious for both of you, do you have a pump up song that you go to before shooting or filming or doing VO for the day? I was literally like getting my makeup done the other day and I was we were listening to music in the makeup room and I was like, I, I was like asking my makeup girl, Victoria, I was like, so um, what like what should we listen to? And then like we just, just put on John Mayer because we both agreed on it. And I was like, this is like such a like it was so like chill, but that's not my pump up music. But right, that just right. reminded me of that. Um, I feel like I uh, I'm always I always go for like Justin Timberlake or something like that. Ooh, that's like some good dance music. I can see that. Yeah, because yeah, everyone can agree on it because he's perfect and yeah, everyone likes Justin. Justin and John, honestly, that's a good up and down. You need the balance yeah. in life. Yeah. Matthew, how about you? Bette Midler, excuse me. <laughs> I hate you. I <laughs> no, um, I, I, I love me some Robin. So like a little dancing on my own, like literally pretty much every day before I leave the house ish, there is, a, there is a Matthew Robin dance party happening. Uh, I'm so, here yeah. for that. <laughs> that's, that's such a good one. Oh, that's so, good. That is so a good one. We can't not get you in a good mood. But we've got all the bases covered then in our playlist. I do feel like we really get into a glimpse into their actual combos, which I appreciate oh, about the show. Yeah. Yes. I, I, I'm so jealous of Ariel and her perch high atop the love, lo, high atop the Love Island villa because I feel like you got the goss and I <clears> am so adamant that I, when we write the show and when I record the show, like I don't want to know anything more than the viewer knows, like literally really? nothing. Yeah. Yeah, and even season one and now going into season two, like obviously it's a 24 hour show. So like things are happening in the night while I'm still sleeping. And when I come in, I don't want to know any of it unless the viewer is seeing it so even um stuff on the wall is taken down whenever i'm around uh you know like all of that stuff because i don't want to know like i feel like that info would color the performance or yeah. the, the what i would say because i don't want to know that 
da 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 is really talking to. I want to find it out when you do. So um, you, so we that, feel the shock in your voice in the in the narration. Yeah, there is. I remember season one. Um, there was a moment in season one that I literally embarrassing in three, two, one. But I was hysterical crying watching the show, and my producer came in at like four in the morning in Fiji and was like, "Are you alright?" And I'm like, "I'm not alright." Like I, mean, I found it out and it killed me. Um, so I I feel like I don't ever want to know more than anybody watching. That's like the opposite of me. I I like to know everything that's going on. So when I'm actually there and the shock, like, be, I mean, obviously I don't know if there's a recoupling. I don't know who's gonna pick who. So if I do know everything going into it, the shock is actually real on camera where I'm like, oh, you just picked her, oh, oh, oh. And I think that it's so fun, like knowing going into it so that I can actually like have that in the back of my mind, like, oh, what is gonna happen tonight? You know, but I totally understand where Matthew's coming from because for you, it's like, you do wanna have that, um, that first reaction voice yeah. on mm. what's happening, your first reaction. And your first reaction is probably <laughs> always the best because <laughs> you're insane. And <laughs> watching, you know, watching the show with you is like, you say what everyone's thinking, which is the exact reason why you shouldn't see anything but mm. what you say. Exactly. Yeah. And I'm very jealous, very, very jealous. <laughs> <laughs> so Matthew, I want to talk to you for a second about the VO. It yeah. truly makes me laugh out loud. How fast is this turnaround time to write the jokes, to write along the script? What does that process look like? Um, it is the fastest turnaround, uh, and it is a process that is um, truly insane, but so rewarding. And like I watch, I live tweet the show, so like I watch the show back for the first time, and it's so funny. I just watched season one in quarantine, and I had never saw it ever because you're in it so it's like okay I'm, I'm good for like a week you know you're living it um and That's then it. when i i watched it back it's the process is so intense that you really have to just nail it like right away and then you move on because we have all of these acts to watch and and the best part about love island is that it's it's happening as close to possible that you guys watch it like literally there are some shows within minutes my last breath before you guys get it like it's that close wow. sometimes sometimes so um the process is insane we get here very early uh <laughs> wink wink i'm not giving out numbers but early uh <laughs> and uh we we watch the show and it's pretty much locked uh what you guys will see at home and then i watch it like the viewer i pause it what's he wearing what's that you know and and the whole goal of of my role is to watch it as if i'm sitting next to you on the couch and then mm. i will write, will write an act then i come here into this room that's my 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 best friend for like the next five weeks and then um i record all the lines that we wrote i listen to them back i pick my favorite and then they go out into the universe and I never hear them again until oh. until, like, <laughs> until you go back and watch. <laughs> Wait, so that's an interesting. Ariel, do you do you go back and watch yourself on the seasons? Like do you go watch season one, season two? So before I mean I watched every episode while it was happening last season, but then before starting this season, yeah, I watched um, I watched a bunch before starting season two, just to kind of like get back into the mindset of how it all goes down and just giving myself that like, oh, I could do better on that or whatever. You know, there's always something to learn from watching yourself or hearing yourself if you're Matthew. Um, but yeah, you know, you're like, you just, when you when you watch it back, you go, why did I do that or whatever? Um, or I need to do that more. So yeah, definitely I watched a little bit before coming to season two just to give myself that like, what can I do? You know? Mm. Yeah. And, and also, too, I, I watched it because when we're, when, I don't know about your quarantine, but I was like doing nothing. So, like, literally, I was like, I should probably get into like the work mode right now and like, like yeah. just find myself what that is about. Um, so, yeah. Um, Matthew, do you find, has anyone ever recognized your voice like outside of the show, just like in real life? Oh um, you know what's so funny about this whole specific role? Like, I am not. <clears throat> I do not consider myself a voiceover talent, period. I, I I was not even in the voiceover division in my agency. They were like, yeah, we're okay, thank you so much. Like, like, and then this happened, and I remember as soon as um, 
Love Island wrapped, I had to go back to work in the States like two days later and I was interviewing uh, Kiki Palmer uh, for um, uh, the movie Hustlers. And I came into the room and she was like, oh my God, it's so good to see you. Oh my God. And in my head, like I, like you, Emily, I researched everybody. I'm like, we have no mutual friends. I don't know your agent. I've never met anybody on your team, like all of this stuff. And in my head, I was like, why is she being so nice? Like how exhausting, like she, she does this to everybody. And I sit down, I say the first line and she literally was like, oh my God, you're, the, you're the Love Island guy. And I was so, you can watch the tape back. I was so red. I was genuinely embarrassed. I was like, oh my God. And then I left that because she was like freaking out. She told us that Love Island was her favorite show and that she Googled me and like all this stuff. So when I walked into the room, she watched every episode. Subconsciously, she thought we were best friends. And I was like, okay, cool. <laughs> She's like, and I know was, him. <laughs> yeah. And then I left that interview thinking like, oh, I think I have something here. This is cool. So I went into Starbucks and I was like, tonight I will have a latte. And they were literally like, ma'am. <laughs> We're okay, thank you so much. I was like, cool, 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 cool. Cool, cool guy, uh-huh, uh-huh. again in public, yeah. <laughs> hey, but you got Kiki Palmer, and honestly, that's a win. <laughs> yeah, one out, of, one out of millions, I'm good, that's it. <laughs> that um, Oh, That's so funny. So, Ariel, I want to go back to you for a second, because you're a host in a show about love, and we all can, you know, have followed along with your personal love story. <laughs> um, do you... Love it. Do you have any love advice for the Islanders? What's something that maybe you wish they knew more of as they were embarking on this journey? Well, I think like a lot of people um, that I, when I'm, you know, talking to the Islanders and saying, what are you looking for here on Love Island? They always say um, someone with a good personality, right? And I'm like, yes, that to me is so key. And that's what makes Matt and I like best friends and so compatible and you know Matt and I were best friends for like I don't know 12 years before we started actually dating and then we dated for three years and now we engage um even if you on Love Island you're like oh you know I think like we're just friends I'm like yes that's where it starts you know like (laughs) me being friends first is so important and I see these people that are so compatible so compatible on Love Island. And I'm like, oh, they might end up doing something. Mm. So I think like just finding a friend on there and seeing how it goes. Cause like, you can't just immediately jump in and be like, oh, you're my boyfriend. I mean, mm. I guess you can't. Just, <laughs> We've seen it happen so far. <laughs> We've seen it, yeah. But you know what I mean? Like, I think that a lot more comes out of friendships from this show too. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And so as we look ahead to the season, can you guys give us any teasers of what to expect with Casa Moore? Is there going to be a musical guest? Anything? Oh, I know, Matthew, you don't like to know anything ahead, so. Like, <laughs> so, Ariel. <laughs> Juice. No, so, um, um, we do have Casa Moore, like you mentioned, which we didn't have last year, so that's super exciting. And that's something I'm looking forward to because, like, I haven't experienced that whole thing yet besides okay. seeing it in the UK version. So having it come here, I think it's just going to create so much more drama, more tension. It's going to, you know, actually bring more Islanders, which will be just more people equals more craziness. Um, I'm ready for the drama. And and more slow-mo running. So like that, that, that's a good thing. What we all need right now. Yes. Yeah. (laughs) So I'm excited to see that. Um, And we're on seven nights a week, which is also different. That's a little twist. So we are curing your not knowing what to watch blues. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I sports love seven, seven nights a week. And there's a recap show too, which basically, Ooh. you know, like as a fan of the, the show and the franchise, it's like, I'm so addicted to the show that it's like, give us more. And I feel like this, the recap, Casa Amor, like all of that stuff, it's, it's just always going to be fresh like it's I think every night is going to be different but hopefully Ariel tips me off and texts me before so I know like, <laughs> so you know what to expect <laughs> what happens the day before so I don't get in at like three in the morning with a hot coffee what <laughs> <laughs> you too. This has been so fun. We are so excited for this new season of Love Island. Ariel, Matthew, thank you so much for being here. This thank is so great. You. I can't wait to watch the whole show. Yeah, I, I can't. 
Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. Did you like that video? You can check out more over here. And don't forget to subscribe to iHeart right here. And if you're already a longtime fan, make sure you ring the bell down below so you don't miss a single video. Bye guys.